Tiger Chen, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you, my butter? <laughs> I'm okay. Haven't seen you since Thailand, since we were shooting Triple Threat. Oh, it was a while ago now. Three or four years. Oh, my God. Time yeah. is so fast. Pleasure to work with you on that movie. Thanks for having me, because I know that the movie would not exist if it, if it was not for you. The, the movie was your idea, and uh, you, you got it made. So thanks for that, because I had a great time in Thailand fighting Tony Jaa and Eco Oasis, but I did not get to fight you. Uh, yeah, well, I save for the next one. Save for the next one, yeah. Not Triple t yeah. Threat 2, because I'm dead, but maybe a different movie. <laughs> another one. <laughs> Do another one. <laughs> I'd love to learn about how you got into martial arts, or which martial arts you trained in, and uh, how that eventually led to getting into the film business. Yeah, all right. I started as, uh, when I was young, I was watching, you know, Jet the, uh, you know, Sun Lee Temple. Yeah. And I love it. I love the movie. I love Jet Li. I love, you know, Chinese martial art. And then, yeah, I just asked my mom, I want to learn martial art. I want to learn Kung Fu. Then my mom sent me to the school and I began to, you know, training. And then year after one year, I go to tournament, like a uh, not national tournament, like a state tournament. I get and I win champion, and I get the and next year I go to you know, national tournament, like a champion. And so, wow! So I become professional. I kind of become professional. You know, the Chinese martial art is professional. It's not like uh, in U.S. We have different systems. So I that become to um, it's my job. You know. Right. Can, can you tell the audience uh, what Wushu is and how, you know, you've got the, the Kung Fu side of things, but also the performance side of things with the competitions? Well, basically, I started like a Northeast and then try to, you know, taste all kind of different forms. So then later on, I say, oh, I mean, I may be interested in Tai Chi. And I drop the North Face, then I go to the you know, Tai Chi, especially for Tai Chi style. So, and I love it. So I become like a professional in Tai Chi style. So like Tai Chi, you know Tai Chi, right? Yeah, man, man of Tai Chi. <laughs> yeah, man of Tai Chi. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. so when you were doing your uh, performances, your 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 competitions, it was uh -huh. all Tai Chi. Or was it more of the dynamic, sort of what I th think of as wushu, the, the jumping up the 360 spins and the, the weapons and everything? Yeah, it's all, all kind of stuff. We have a, like a, when you go compete, you will need to do in six different forms. So you need to do tai chi, you need to do like short weapon, you have to do long weapon, you have, you have to go do, do the uh, 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 traditional form. And you have to go to like a, 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 a what's that called? We're fighting each other, but it's you know oh, it's yeah. choreographed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that's part of the competition is to do choreograph fights, which of course is a perfect segue into the movie business. Yes. Yeah. That's why there's a lot of wushu guy become like a you know much movie star. So. Yeah, and you guys are doing like um, routines that can last up to two minutes, three minutes, right? And you're getting this close to each other with the punches and all the reactions. It's it's difficult yeah. to do it live, right? Yes. Fake, like a twist, twist. You know, we learn a lot of moves from movie, from the Jackie Chan's movie. The early oh, yeah. Jackie Chan's movie, they have a lot of stunts. So we yeah. just watch the you know, movie and then we... You know, Try to copy the move and the tournament, and we show in the tournament next week. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic yeah. stuff. So, which yeah. was your favorite long weapon? Uh, just uh, uh, stick. The, the bow, the, the staff. Yeah, the staff. Yes. Yeah. The staff. Any other favorite weapons to perform with? Uh, knife section. The what? The the knife section. Oh, the chain. Oh, chain. Okay. Yes. And you spin it under your bum and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 How did you get involved with Master Yun Wu Ping and how did that all come about? 
And uh, so after a couple of years, like eight years, 10 years, I, I, can't, uh, I forgot maybe 10 years training. So I get tired. So I said, okay, I'm not going to do this anymore. So I quit. How old? 19. Okay. And which part of um, China are you from? Sichuan. Okay. Sichuan province. Yeah. Okay. I've got no idea where that is. <laughs> I'm I'm China. <laughs> yeah okay of course so 19 you you're bored with the competing and you stop and then i have this opportunity to go to a, 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 a coach teaching demonstration in us okay i go to us and i go to do a demonstration and then like a culture ex exchange so we just show kung fu chinese culture and teach you some Tai Chi, some stuff, and then go to tournament, compete, tournament, compete, and later on, it's uh, 1990, 1997. So I get the call from Yuan Wuping. So he say, we need one guy. We need a young guy who's in the US, who has uh, experience to teach it, the white guy. Speak English speak uh, okay English. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then I say, okay, I can, I, I can be the guy. Oh, wow. Well, that's, that's a life changing moment right there. You probably didn't know it. Yes. That's, yeah. 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 Definitely changed my life. Yeah. I was in Philadelphia and I get the ticket from the, you know, my friend got a ticket. They say, Oh, ticket from Hollywood. Take it from Hollywood. <laughs> and basically, they're giving you the opportunity to go and train Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, and Lawrence Fishburne for, for the Matrix. Yes. Because yeah. back in the day, it's not easy to bring the, bring the guy from you know, mainland China to the US. Okay. So they have to find the guy already in the US. Okay, please continue. How long did you train them for? All right, then I go to Los Angeles and uh, Wu Ping say, oh, have to show me your, uh, what you have, what you got. And it's like, no, you know, do what I can. I do whatever I can. Wu Ping say, oh, okay, 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 okay. Then <laughs> yeah, say, yeah. all right, so you can uh, choose. So, so, so the, the actor you teach, it's Keanu Reeves. I say, oh, who's Keanu Reeves? He's, he's, uh, Say so like the, the speed that you see speed before. I say yes, I love that movie. Oh, is that yeah. guy? Is the guy from Speed? Oh, okay. <laughs> now I got it. So, yeah. And then we begin to train. Keanu Khan's have the neck you know, because he has a broken oh, yeah. his neck. So, Can't oh, like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hi, right. I'm Keanu. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can it can move. And there's a doctor next to him, so tell tell him he can't do this, can't do that. So it's very difficult for him. So then, Yang Wu Ping must have been thinking, ah, what am I gonna do? <laughs> at that uh, point, I mean, listen, it all worked out brilliantly. But uh maybe at the beginning he was like, Oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> yeah, but then, then when I when we were the whole the Hong Kong team arrived to in, in Los Angeles. So the Warner Brother and the director, the actors, they all come. They say, okay, you show us what you can do. Okay. Then Young Pin say, okay, you go do your demonstration. So I get I do the 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 whatever first form and do some uh, nice section, the chain, the chain. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. after I did it, all right, the the director. Yeah. Come to ask Young Pin to say, okay, can you make Kian look like this in three months. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What did you say? <laughs> say yes or no? <laughs> what is it? No. This guy has been training for 10 years. <laughs> yes, this guy is Tai Chi Wushu champion. <laughs> and they will be saying, okay, I try my best. I try my best. <laughs> So Keanu Reeves, I mean, now he's John Wick and all the rest of it, but obviously he's got a very strong work ethic. And was that apparent from, from the get-go, even with the neck? He, he was obviously a hard worker. 
Yeah, he's he trained so hard. He's the hardest actor I ever seen. So I mean, not like us, you know, us we 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 are more like uh, you know used to it. The, yeah. the, the the basic stuff. But he's uh, like before 30, he didn't exercise that much. Yeah. When I first met him, he's like a, you know, can't even can't even touch his knee. It's like yeah. very stick. Very thick, can't move. Yeah. Uh, he want to try it. He try so hard. He try very hard. Hmm. What, what's what's the importance of, of a previs tiger? Well, this is the we just choreograph verse, and then we have to the director ask us to you know you have to get to shoot it and then show me. Then we shoot it to show the director. Uh, the Wachowskis, they um, very reliant on Yon Wu Ping, of course. I mean, they've hired him to do the job that he's done in many Asian movies previously. But how, how much of an impact did they have on, on, the, on the fights? I think uh, you, you saw the movie, uh, The Matrix, first one, I mean, especially the first one. Yeah. It hurts my. It's very much like a hundred percent, you know, like a Wupin's style. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, movie, the choreograph, the way the camera, where you put the camera, it's pretty much 90%, the first one. Yeah. But would they sort of say, well, we like this from uh, Iron Monkey, or we love what you did in Once Upon a Time in China, or did they just let Yan Wuping just do whatever he wanted. I mean, you know, they're obviously they've written the, the script, so. Uh, we, we, uh, when we're there, uh, they already give us the... The, the ideas. The ideas. Concepts. Uh, where, what the move on the... They love the Fist of Legend. The favorite uh, movie for the two directors, it's Fist of Legend, so... Me too. Uh, me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They already have the storybook done. The, all the action move, they already have the first draft. Now, for me, it's interesting because the previs, I don't think that is something that Wu Ping would normally do. Uh, normally in Hong Kong movies, Chinese movies, you just get to the set of the day of the shooting yes. and you'll have an idea and you'll just, you'll make up the fights in and you'll film it as you go. The previous thing seems to be something that was done specifically for the Matrix, would you say? Yes, first yeah. time. I think especially for the Hong Kong team. They're not used to it. Yeah, but I guess the directors wanted to see, okay, we want to we want to okay what you're about to do. We want to know what you're going to do before you do it. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. I think it's American style, right? Not the right. Hong Kong style. Yeah. No, the Hong Kong style. Hong Kong style always, you know, Always make everything, you know, a set. Yeah, let's do it yeah. tomorrow at the set. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it makes more sense to do the previs in the gym, and then you know exactly what you're going to film on the day when you're spending more money, and then do that. But I understand there's more of an organic sort of. It can create more ideas to be sort of doing things on 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 the spot. I think at least we, I think it doesn't matter an American style, Hong Kong style, at least you have some, you know, like some creative, you know, like a hundred, not a hundred percent, at least you have a 70% what you want to do, what move. And you, when you go to sand, when you go to set, you, you know, you take a look at, you know, the, the, the set, you know, what you can use it, what, you know, what's different that you can change a little bit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That would be the perfect choice. I think, yeah, that makes sense to have a plan, but to be able to deviate from the plan if you get inspiration. Yes. Yeah. yes. The last time I worked with Yong Wu Ping was Ip Man 4. And mm -hmm. we did two weeks of training and I was learning a fight that I thought I was going to do with, with Donnie Yen. But then when I got to set, the whole thing, the whole thing was different. I think they were just getting me back into shape. That's what they were doing. <laughs> get get me ready for Hong Kong style. Yeah, the Hong Kong style is always like that. Like the, 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 not even the Hong Kong, like the Hong Kong, the China style is the same. 
they they training you the one way, and when you go <laughs> to shoot, it's totally different. It's, totally it's different. crazy. It's yeah. crazy. You know, I was thinking the day before I started the the end fight, I thought yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm just gonna relax. I don't want to get any injuries. I'm gonna look after myself. And then they brought me in the day before we started the end fight with Donnie Yen. And they had me doing this kick on a wire, training it over and over and over again. And I'm not very good with the wires. I'm not used to it. And so I ended up pulling a muscle in my leg. <laughs> and then I came to set the next day and we didn't even do that kick. And I just had a torn muscle. It's like, yeah, great. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's, you know, Hong Kong style. Always that's like Hong that. Kong style. Yes. Yeah, so we, we met um, in Paris, uh, filming Unleashed, and uh, you were doubling Jet Li. And uh, that was a long time for that fight. That was a good fight scene, that was. We had about, I remember having like two weeks to do that fight in that swimming pool. And that also, that, that movie is a good movie. I like that it movie. It is a good film, yeah? It's yes. one of Jet Li's best American films. Yeah, but when, you know, Chinese doesn't like it. <laughs> so. No, why? Because he's a dog. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. No, he wasn't a dog because he was Chinese. He was a dog because of Bob Hoskins. You know, yes. No, he you know. brought up the bad way. Can't show up in China, so. so oh, really? Bad. Yeah. It doesn't doesn't go to the Chinese movie theater. Yeah. Not at all. No. Oh wow. Oh okay. Yeah. Well, it's a good film. It's a great film. This was back in the day when Luc Besson was using Hong Kong directors like Yun Kuei or Yun Wu Ping mm -hmm. to film the action uh, for those movies. And they'd have another French direct director, Louis Leterrier, for that one. But uh, he was doing some, some great action films. And uh, that, that was a fun experience for me in a nice padded swimming pool. <laughs> yes. A lot of fighters. A lot of fighters is good. I and mean, I think I think they have a, they got a, the best all the best fighter from Europe, right? Well, and, and me. <laughs> I wasn't one of the best. No. Just talk us through this. How, how many days did they spend on on this fight scene? Two weeks. Wow, two weeks. Yeah. Is all the floor padded here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Is it a set? It's all built on a set. Yes, yeah, so I'll build a set, and then uh, because uh, you know, at the, the the most difficult shot is the last shot, like uh, five different guys are running together. That thing takes a long time because we have to shoot it one by one. They lock down the camera, and then one guy go, and the other guy go. And they're gonna find a guy and they Oh, so it's all separate. Okay. Well look at Reeves here. He's just amazing. It's brilliant choreography. He's he's so on the money. It's so stylish. I love yeah, the music yeah. in this sequence. I love the destruction, the elements, the weapons. It's a great fight. In the second one, he's already, you know, amazing. He's he's better than you know lots of stun guys. Yeah. Because it's the second one. He's been training uh, twice. So this time he's much better. Than the first one, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> yeah, you can see John Wick is being born. <laughs> no, Neo, Neo's, Neo's amazing, man. Yeah. And for me to see this in the cinema, a movie like the first one in the cinema, being a fan of kung fu films and seeing America embrace that style was just incredible at the time. Yeah, this David one, Leach. Yeah. David Leach, yes. Is Tiger? Tiger Chen. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Shade stayed on though. Shade stayed oh. on. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shot you're talking about. Yes. That's, that's the, so this that's is a locked off camera and each performer does the stunt separately. Yes. To lock the camera. And that's because the wires would be tangled up. Yes. Otherwise. Wow, that's good info. Yep. You need good props, don't you? Because if you're swinging around weapons that are, are going to constantly break or they look flimsy, but they can't be too hard because then they're dangerous. Yes, the weapons is still very heavy, very heavy. I mean, 
You, you, you can feel it hairy than the real ones. <laughs> They're very hairy, yeah? Oh, wow. Very hairy. Because they want to make the... The rubber. The rubber, rubber, they have to make it like, a, you know, safe. Look, this is my favorite move, this bit here. It, and then he, he does like two blocks the same, but there's something about it that's really cool. That's very Chinese style. Yeah. Hey, up. He's free. And he's got a long weapon. Oh, heavy one. Now, <laughs> were you scared that he wasn't going to duck? <laughs> <laughs> How much trust did you have that he was going to duck? Yeah, because we've been training for so long, so... <laughs> we've been training for so long. And we're going to cancel the third movie because Tiger has, has knocked out Keanu Reeves. Yeah. I think I want a diamond by one shot, one tick. So that's why I go very deep. I mean, was there any occasions where somebody had smashed one of the walls and you've had to reset and do it again? Well, uh, lucky, um, you know, we all, you know, very lucky, very professional. Nobody done anything wrong, you know. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> That's a nice ending yeah. for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant stuff, man. You must be so proud to be part of that. Are we allowed to say that you've been shooting the new one? Me? Yeah, are we allowed? Yeah. A little bit, a little bit. That's all we can say is that the new there is a new one. It's been shooting, and that you had some involvement. Yeah, same yeah. a little bit. A little yeah. fighting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Very much looking forward to seeing that. Cannot wait. Yeah, me too. I would yeah. love to see how the movie and done. It looks amazing in the set, but you know, I would love to do the the real one. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, and I may be, but as far as I know, The Man of Tai Chi was your first leading role in, in, a, in a movie as a star. Is that, am, am I right or wrong? Uh, she needed the second one. Okay, so what was the first film you made as, as an actor then? Uh, the first one called uh, Kung Fu Man. How did you make the jump from doing stunts to being the uh, the star of a movie? Uh, you know, after I've been doing like uh, stunt for like ten years, I think uh, I'm pretty much done with <laughs> stunts. Yeah, because uh, you know people get grow old, so I know one day I will go grow old too. So, unfortunately, uh, yeah. it happens to all of yeah. us. Unfortunately, everybody's the same. So including yeah. me so <laughs> i was thinking you know you can't do this forever you know and then they say okay maybe but there's some a lot of guys directors actors that they just encourage me they want to say oh why do you just try to be an actor you know doing the fights on yourself in front of the camera i say okay i okay let's try it then i just start trying and then uh, i have this uh, producer, Dashin, which is my friend, and we try to write a script, and then we have, we have the script, and then we go to, I was go, we go to Keanu, we say, we want to make this movie, can you, like, just be uh, in the movie for, like, 10 seconds, or one minute, whatever, you know, yeah. and he said, okay, let me, sit, let me read the script first. And then he read the script and then he come back and say, the script, it sucks. It's a bad script. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys don't know how to write script, right? Can you write another, another one? Okay, all right, we got it. Then we go write this, write again. We hired uh, uh, all kind of different Chinese American writers to rewrite it. It's so, so many, we give him like a, at least five, six trap. By the end, he's like pissed off. He's like, do you guys know how to write script? 
Do you know, guys know what is Goose Script? You know, you can't, you don't. All right, I write it. You say, okay, perfect. <laughs> you write it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's hire the, the writer, okay, who's a talent of young. Okay, we work together. You, me, your producer, and the writer, four of us, we can work together for this script. Then I, okay, and then we find a young, you know, like uh, Irish, Irish, Irish writer, yeah. Mike Coney, and then we, yeah, then we go to Keanu's house, we have a meeting, and then we come back, write a, and we go again, meeting, like back and forth, back and forth. After five, six years, finally, he think the script, it's okay now five years right <laughs> was this man of tai chi yes this is man of tai chi yeah. so how did he end up deciding to direct it then because he's so into the story he gave so many his ideas in the story we all feel like three of us all feels there's, there's nobody understand the story better than you so you should direct it or you should you know be at the bad guy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then he think about it. he said okay i think about it okay after like a couple of days he write an email to everybody he says okay guys uh, i decide to be this movie director and i play the villain it takes six years yeah, six years, but it couldn't have been a better outcome, really. Then they create, they try to, they want me to shoot the small movie first, which is Kung Fu Man. This big guy here, he's a, uh, he's a big dude. He's very big. He's a, he's a Jiu Jitsu, like a national second or third. Okay. The, the wrestler, wrestler. Oh, wrestling, okay. So how long would it take to film a sequence like this? Mm -hmm. This one, I think yeah. uh, this one let's take uh, two days. So the storyline of this is you're protecting these kids from these baddies. Yes. Yeah. You're, you've got a Superman cape on as well. <laughs> yes. That's for the kids. Yeah. <laughs> the kids like it. You like you're a real superhero. Well, you are. <laughs> I mean, look at you. <laughs> so how old are you here, Tiger? 30, 39, 38, 30, yeah, 2000, yeah. 2009, 2008, 2009. Okay. 38, 39. Uh, so how was the reception for that movie then? Well, because of this movie shooting finished before the map Taiji. Right. But you know, the 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 they don't want to release first. Right. They want to they try to release after Map Taiji. Because they think the map Taiji is a good big movie. So yeah. You can yeah. just follow and go to the movie dinner and make money easier. They don't need to spend money for like a, you know, sure, sure, sure. Fight. He's a phenomenal performer, Jeremy, isn't he? He's so athletic. Yes, he's so good. He's like, yeah. uh, in there, I think, uh, you know, he's, he can fly. You know, he's like, twist, twist, you know, 260, 260, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. He's the new breed of uh, action fight performer. It's just incredible. And he's not afraid to throw himself around either. Well, like, like we all are, all stuntmen. Yeah, and he's so good. So who's devising the camera angles for this? Chat. Uh, no, it's Keanu. It's, all right, okay. 
Chat only uh, designed the fight. I mean, choreographed the fight. And all, all the camera work is from Keanu. We have this uh, story can all over, you know, he loved the study can. You know. It's a great looking set as well. The idea to come up with this room that's very, it's almost like an office. Yes. For it's fighting, very, it's great. Yeah, also it's Keanu's idea. Yeah, it's very smart. I love the music in this movie as well. It's it's different, but very fitting. Yeah, Keanu has a very different taste. I mean, very unique taste about music, about visual. <laughs> so. so you spent two weeks on this fight? Yes, this fight took a long time. Did you do any reshoots for it or was it all just two weeks and then done? Two weeks done. We didn't do any reshoots. Because the floor is very soft. Good. <laughs> yeah, man. That's what you need. I find when I'm doing a fight, I the f if, if I start a film, the first fight scene is so hard the next day to get up and go through it again and again because my body's not used to the, you know, all the pain. But then you kind of like halfway through the movie, you just get into the zone. Maybe you're continually in, in the zone, but I stop aching at some point. Yeah, I mean, this movie is almost killing me. I mean, the first two months, it's fighting every day, every day, 12 hours. That's a cool move there. 12 hours a day, man. And then you've got to get up the next day and do it again. Yes, for two months. I feel <laughs> I'm almost dead. <laughs> almost dead. <laughs> any, any bad injuries? Oh, uh, I just get the one punch from the one guy, you know, he just punch my jaw and make my jaw uh, dislocate, dislocate it. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. That's not good for eating lunch. Yeah, small, <laughs> very big. <laughs> oh, well. What do you think's the secret to making good fight sequences on film? Uh, first of all, I think we needed to be fighter, right? Yeah, that's very important. So, so if you have an actor that can't necessarily do what is needed, it's going to be very difficult if you have to yeah. keep doubling him. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you fighter, like uh, when I find you, finding Eco, finding Tony Ja, you know, both us face feels good. So yeah. Tony Ja feels good. I feel good. Eco feels good. I feel good because, you know, we match. <laughs> So that's the first basic we needed. And the second is choreograph and the story. I mean, if the, uh, the character, I mean, the, the, the audience doesn't care about the character, it doesn't matter how good the fight it is, it would, doesn't do anything to the audience. Yeah. Yes. That's so very important point. Yes, so that's why uh, every time I think in the fights, I will think about the character. What's your character? Where, where are you now at the story? So what's your move? What are you thinking about? Then we make the fight. What do you think is more important, the choreography or the camera work? Uh, I think both very important. Yeah. Choreograph, it's I mean the the, the the choreographer it's important, but the camera the camera or hmm, I think the camera was bad it, it was more important than the choreograph. Because <laughs> yeah. I can't even see it. If the camera were right. bad, it doesn't matter how good your choreograph choreograph you can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say you're probably better having bad choreography with good camera work than having great choreography with bad camera work because yes. if you don't see it it's all for nothing right yes yeah i agree yes <laughs> and that that is the thing that china hong kong from the beginning have always done the best making the camera part of the action and showing the choreography uh, off to its full potential yeah, especially the Hong Kong photographer. The Hong Kong photographer, they've been shooting the action for many years. They can just watch one time you move, 
up and down, left and right, and they remember. They can exactly. The, the, the operator, yeah. They, they almost have a stuntman brain. <laughs> yes. Yeah, for choreography. Yeah. yeah, this is the difficulty I have in the West. It's like you, you, meet, you have an operator that you've never worked with before, and you show the choreography, and it's like, yeah, blah, 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 then go down for the leg and then back up. And he's like, what? I'm just going to do this. <laughs> slow down, slow down. <laughs> yeah. slow down. <laughs> no, we can't slow down, mate, because then it's not going to look very good. We've got to go fast. Yeah, very difficult. But yeah, the, I love the way in uh, Hong Kong cinema that they have the zooms in, the, the panning, the following the action, zooming in to accentuate a punch, things like that. They may not have good images, they may not have the good uh, lighting, whatever, but they have very good you know, shooting the actions. Yeah, it's the best, man. It's the best. You owe me a life. He didn't even have time to train. He tries so hard. And before we start shooting, he still have some time to come for training. But after we start shooting, I don't think that any director have time to train. They don't have time to train. Yeah. There's too many stuff going on. How long did you spend on this fight sequence? This one uh, takes a week. Okay. Uh, he both, uh, he's like, uh, you know, you look at his shoes and then the shoe kill his finger, fingernail. The, the thumb, like, oh, he broke his uh, thumbnail. Thumbnail, yes, both. What, how? Because the shoe. <laughs> his shoes. <laughs> He keeps hitting you with his thumbs, so that doesn't help. He's <laughs> doing thumb good. technique. I love this move here. I love this move here. I think that's just great. Yeah, this is all, you know, whooping's work. Yeah. Yeah, I love uh, Fist of Legend personally, because for me, when Wu Ping uses less wires. I, I prefer yes. it when it's a bit more real. Obviously, the Matrix was all about it being not realistic in a way, so it worked. I was like, uh, I was uh, going to Keanu's house and I said, yeah, I mean, I said, if you need a bad guy, just call me, okay? I'll be a bad guy for you, okay? You kill me. Please kill me again. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't does half kill you. He kills you real good. <laughs> but this section here, like, it's this one shot, isn't it? One one shot, this. One. It's great. Yes. Yeah. Was it always planned as a one or did it just work out that it all worked as one? Did you... Just try and see. Well, let's let's go as far as we can go. Yeah, we try as far as we can. Yeah, and it all worked. Yeah, excellent. I mean, a lot of the John Wick style is um, locking and throwing and judo, oh, isn't it? But yes. this bit where he ridge hands you in the face, bang! Oh yeah, yeah, it's cracking stuff, man. And the glass is not real, right? Or it is there? No. Yeah, it's fake. Yes. Fake, yeah. How did they do this then? Is this a fake knife there? Yeah. Yeah, it's a empty pan. So. How do they keep it lined up in the right place? Yeah, that's why I'm curious too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, he broken broke my uh, Go again. On. He broken my uh, uh, the the thumb. No, no, the the, the nail. Oh uh, yes, 
What is it with the toenails and the fingernails? You and Keanu Reeves. <laughs> What's yes. going on? Because he has his shoes on. I didn't have it. Is it good? It's easy when you work with uh, someone like Eco or Tony, right? The rhythm is just there, and very good. The five rhythm Eco is very good. Tony, of course, you know I didn't. I may have the chance of we, you know, fighting with you, but I believe it. You guys the same. You go have a very very good rhythm. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? It's it's always harder when you work with someone who doesn't really get it. Yeah, you feel good when you're fighting to someone you know, very good. You feel good too. You feel easy, good, strong. You know, can fight forever. <laughs> Doesn't feel tired. <laughs> and was it easy working with Tim Mann as the fight director? Yes, Tim Mann is very good. Tim Mann is like a very flexible. You know, he's like always asking. You know, what are you? You know. You know what? What? What is your suggestion? You can change whatever you feel doesn't. You know, very good. Well, he he had a good style to choreograph for you as well because he he's a wushu guy himself or has experience in that. He has some wire work for me. He has some wushu style for me because you know I'm、uh, okay with wire. So I think I'm the only one have a little wire in this movie. <laughs> yeah, well, you yeah, you have a lot of experience on the wires. And how's it working with? A real MMA champion, Michael Bisping. He's so strong. This guy is、yeah. very strong. You don't want to be a fight with him. No, no. <laughs>、so、I mean,、strong. he didn't have a lot of experience of film fighting at this point. I don't think so. Yeah, but he did good. He said, yeah, he, you know, he did. He can control himself. You know, he he control himself very good. But you can feel the power. Even he control himself very good. You still can feel the power. Yeah, it's different than the movie fighters. The wheel fighter, it's a little different. <laughs> But he understands the choreography, understands the rhythm of it, and you know to keep it light and、um, make it look real, but not actually be real.、Mm. For the wheel fighter, the champion, you know, UFC champion, he did a very good movie fight. Exactly, because most of them haven't got a clue. Let's be honest; they're so used to doing it for real that it's hard to change. Yes, it's different. Yeah, yeah it's different. Now, this fight scene was there was a little bit of a reshoot, right? There was a little bit of an added section. Yeah, see, that's a reshoot. Oh, this bit now is that. So, yeah, you go into this separate room. This was done later in Los Angeles, right? Yes. Because、uh, the story has changed. Because、uh, the original story is I kill him right there, but、uh, later on the story we figure out the story, we change the story. He's not dead, so we have to reshoot a little bit, make him still、uh, keep、uh, keep his life. Yeah, I love that little bit there. Yeah, pretty good.、Mm-hmm. Gosh, and just this breeze block thing. Looks like it kills him. I know. And then、uh, before we do this, he was like、uh, talking to himself. He's like,、uh, "Do I do this? Do I do this? Do I do this?" He's and he said, "Okay, let's do it. Fuck, fuck, let's do it." <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm sure it was fine for him. He's been hit in the face by plenty of people, and it's it's not a real <laughs> freeze block, but it looks looks so weird, right?、Eh? It looks well real, yeah. <laughs> His reaction is it looks really real as well. <laughs> yes. Oh, the、like、blood and everything—it's brilliant.、Yeah. So, what's next, Tiger? Come on, triple threat two then. Triple threat two. Uh, yeah, we've been working on the story. I mean, we're, we've been working on the script for like a long time already, half a year already. But we still didn't have the good script. It's not easy to make everybody satisfy. It's not easy to make everybody happy. Yeah. So,、well, try my best. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. Best. <laughs> well, thanks, buddy. Thanks for coming on the Art of Action and sharing your knowledge. Greatly appreciate it, and and best of luck in the future. Okay. Thank you, brother. Hopefully, hopefully, I see you soon. Hopefully, working soon with you. Yes. Thanks, Tiger.